What's going on everyone? JPS back for another video and today we're going to be reacting to emergency assistance from The Hague Center to Haga Leyenberg and this is a Dutch video. The title's in Dutch. I had to translate it for myself but I actually looked up where The Hague Center was and it looks like it's just north of Rotterdam which is a Dutch city that's piqued my interest as of recently but anyways guys the main focus of this video is to see the Dutch response, the emergency response, what are the first responders like, how does society respond, react, what are some of the techniques they use, I'm assuming there's going to be some type of ambulance involved in this, and this kind of follows on one of my videos I did in the past, I believe it was Germany, and uh, it was on maybe an Autobahn or some German highway, and there was an ambulance, and everyone responded right away, everyone pulled over to leave way for the ambulance. And this really shocked me because that response is so different to the response you see to emergency response vehicles in the United States. Oftentimes, drivers are incredibly oblivious to their surroundings, not paying attention. They get in the way. They're not getting over. They don't even know that there's an ambulance behind them because we have a lot of really bad drivers because there's a lot of people. So, well, that's my excuse, I guess. But this is going to be interesting to take a look at some of the Dutch responses and how everything flows. So with that being said, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and let's get it. One thing I wanted to say right off the bat is that that siren sound is, it sounds almost identical to the one I was hearing when I was in Germany. Let me know if it's the same siren, but they're doing a good job clearing the way. It's obvious that something's behind them. I'm going to assume it's an ambulance. They're in a pretty busy, looks like a city center area. Streets are really narrow and everyone seems to be paying close attention to what's going on. It's so cool seeing it from like the first person point of view because you can see all the little adjustments they make, the communication, multitasking. But honestly, I have to say, guys, this video is making me want to visit the Netherlands. Like these, this, 
I can tell it's really public transportation centric. I saw so many lines for uh, rails, trams, etc. So seems like a cool, cool city. I'm not really sure where exactly this is. I guess the Haga Center or the Hague Center. Oh, okay. Bro, why does this look like an FBI operation? Like the way, are these just like regular police officers? I'm not saying the way they're doing it is so impressive. And it's just as I had thought an ambulance so they, but they have multiple people escorting and the guys up front close off the scene and then they have the close escort too if anything happens in front. It's it's so well done. Like I would have never known unless they showed that angle. <laughs> Yo, this looks, I could never see something like this happening. I mean, you see this in the United States, but it's for like when the president has to go out to dinner, then we have the escorts and all that. But any other time, an ambulance is trying to get around it is a an absolute nightmare it is a nightmare guys and it makes you feel bad because someone could literally be dying and this person just in their own world they don't they're driving on the road there is no one else on that road it's just them that, that's that must be their mindset i don't know <sighs> I'm sure there's a higher prevalence of these motorcycle cops because it makes it easier to navigate, I guess, the smaller roads in comparison to the U.S. But a lot of this relies on the motorists, civilians paying attention, stopping when they're told to stop because otherwise none of this works.
These canals really are everywhere throughout the Netherlands, aren't they? That's so cool. And look, like the whole time paying attention to where where the ambulance is and staying in front of it. I, you can definitely tell they put they definitely have practiced this before. Or it's a, or it's an experienced officer, but still. Very impressive nonetheless. Yo, imagine, imagine this person in blue card just committed a ton of crimes and they're, or or they have they have like a bunch of drugs in their car, and all these police are pulling up on them. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure it's happened before. Just gotta keep calm, I guess. Can't relate. <laughs> And this this is the hospital, right? Maybe. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I got to say that was that was so smooth. They literally had every single interact or er, intersection on lock. Like the ambulance had a smooth ride there. And I like how they, one you stop the intersection, wait, and then pass the next person who's holding up the next one, and just, oh my gosh, it was like clockwork. It was so smooth. So I really enjoyed watching that. Honestly, uh, I want to start doing some more Dutch-related content on here because the Netherlands is such a cool place, and I know so little about it. So, you know, why not learn some more? It's also 
literally it's it's right next to Germany and I felt so bad when I was in Germany this summer I didn't have enough time you know to hop on a train uh, of course everyone wants to visit Amsterdam or whatever but I, I know that there's a lot more to Netherlands than just Amsterdam so if I ever go to uh, the Netherlands I will make sure that I get out of Amsterdam but I, I still want to see it of course so yeah hope you all enjoyed the video um, if you did hit the like button hit subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one peace